Alrighty, in some unexpected news that has nothing to do with Canada's Wonderland, we have a potential leak um, from the park itself of a possible renovation slash expansion of ex an existing water park here in Ontario. So for those of you that don't know, Wet n Wild is a water park located in the Brampton, Ontario area. Um, it was uh, a new company that came in and expanded a old water park in that area. Um, so it was really exciting to see that happen. A lot of new slides and love got put into that water park, but not a lot of expansion has occurred um, to that water park since being taken over. There's been a lot of stagnant years, um, and lo and behold, uh, there's two options that could have happened. Either the water park was saving up a lot of money for a massive expansion that's about to take place, or it's been sold um, and the new buyers are ready to do some major expansions to the existing property. So I'm going to go over what they put out in a survey um, to guess about what they're thinking about doing to the property. So this is one of three options that the park is looking at. So Margaritaville Water Park um, by Jimmy Buffett um, is going to be one of the main expansions, it seems, of the water park. The current operating outdoor section of Wet n Wild appears to be what they're going to transform um, into Margaritaville. So based off the survey, they were asking about swim up bars, um, thrilling new water slides you can't find at any other water park, transforming um, the water park into the Margaritaville theme, um, and how you felt about it, and comparing it to other water park attractions in Ontario, and how likely you would be to visit a Margaritaville branded water park. And truthfully, I would be highly enticed to visit a Margaritaville themed water park. I love that theme. If you've been to a restaurant, it's so um, creative. I love the little volcano um, aspect of Margaritaville, and I'd be truly excited to see that come. Um, the other part of the renovation slash expansion plan includes an indoor part to the water park, and they're calling it the Blue Water Resort. Um, it would feature an indoor section that would be open year round. Um, you would be able to have parties, office catering. There's going to be a restaurant there, um, a huge indoor arcade, along with the indoor water slides and pools and lazy river. So that is also really exciting. I would love to see one of those more closer to the Toronto area. I find it again, you've heard me talk about this in many videos. I find it idiotic. Um, that Cedar Fair has not taken, or Six Flags in quotations, taken advantage of that and built one of these um, in the Toronto area slash the Wonderland Vaughn area, GTA, whatever. Um, I think whoever does it first is going to benefit a lot. So I would love to see a park like Wet n Wild um, do that and step outside their comfort zone. So I'm really fingers crossed hoping that we see that Margaritaville slash Blue Water Resort come to life. I obviously gave my opinions um, so yeah, this was option two. It includes a hotel. They were asking what you would pay for a night, um, what you would like to uh, see at the water park, what would entice you to visit here over Canada's Wonderland or over the water parks in Niagara Falls, including Great Wolf Lodge. Um, so they were very open to feedback and I love that because I know that they're going to take that feedback and apply it. So Seeing a indoor water park and an indoor arcade included into accommodations, I live very close to here. I wouldn't need to stay there, but I would definitely probably spend um, a weekend here once a year. So fingers crossed that this is actually something that's happening. Now, what you're about to see is going to really confuse you because they surveyed a family slash kid friendly water park indoor slash outdoor as well and the branding is really going to confuse you um so they asked about sesame place um and it had parades that they were asking about it had some flat rides as well little kids flat rides mostly centered around a water park though lazy river all that jazz. So, and they were talking about it being specifically to, geared towards kids, obviously. So, really curious about that. They even asked questions like, would you want this to be separately gated from the other water park 
to keep it more kid friendly and to keep it more centered around that family kid section. Um, so I like that. So if all three of these options are coming to life, this is quite the expansion that Wet n Wild is going to go under. And it's really going to solidify some competition for a park like Canada's Wonderland and another future park coming to Ontario as well. So really excited about the competition market heating up here. Um, and really excited to see some of those slides that they were kind of asking about. There were no pictures um, showcasing any new of the thrilling, any of those new thrilling slides that they were um, enticing us with in the survey. So really curious to see what happens moving forward. But um, I would expect this to happen in the next two to five years, um, this expansion. So really, really excited about um, all these theme park companies excited about Ontario and the potential in Ontario. And this is only the beginning, guys. There's a lot of excitement gearing up in the amusement industry in Ontario. A lot of eyes are on Ontario and the market um, share that is available to those theme parks and water parks. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. Comment down below what you think about the plans you've seen on the screen. All the photos I've used in today's presentation is from the survey itself and the video at the beginning is from margaritaville in kissimmee so or orlando sorry anyways thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye